Hey, what's going on, everybody? Real quick guide. Everyone watch for hostile bioweapons. For the Ready? mathematician trophy challenge Make achievement, Resident Evil 8 hostile. Village. I'm basically gonna go through the map, and I'm gonna explain all the different areas that you might have missed. So I won't be talking the whole time. But you know, I'm kind of giving you this guide because chances are, if you're not getting it, you're missing one area, one piece. So we'll go through each of the sections. And we'll talk about what you might have missed. Main village, pretty plain and simple. But if you see here, there's a basement in a couple buildings, right? You got Otto's Mill there. Otto's Mill, you make a left right before getting to the stronghold. Don't forget that. Easy to miss because there's like cornfields brushes there. Factory's got a couple things you might miss. Beneviento's house, pretty straightforward. I think you actually have to go through the story for all that. This underground path here after the castle to get you back to the village, that's pretty straightforward. Here in the castle, you're pretty much gonna find everything. You know, there's the basement where she slams you, Lady Dimitrescu. Make sure you go in the top right, that little area. You use the iron insignia key to open that and get using the treasure map. For the Azure Eye Ring. This level is pretty straightforward. This floor. Make sure that after Lady Dimitris slams you, you go back to her quarters and go to her restroom there. Because if you're missing that, you know, you can you, you miss the map. But she has her lipstick in there. You'll grab that. The rest of this is pretty straightforward. You're going to have to get to it for the story. But just remember that. You can always come back after you get the crank. Otto's Mill is just one floor. Not not complicated. That's the cave. That's where you get prisoner by the four houses. Stronghold. The only thing you could miss here is if you do not drop to the lower pit level once you get to the Lycan Den where they pretty much are infinite spawning. The underground part. You know, fighting your rise, you're all going to come across here, but don't forget that area right there. Right before, after you defeat your rise at the stronghold, you can take the ladder up, but there's a quick path on your left. So make sure you take that. It's like some little torture dungeon. There's like three Marikas that you have to kill there. This you get when you get to play. That's Chris Redfield. You coming in. And that's how you get to the village right outside Luis's house. That's actually where I got it. You know, so that little path there, finished the map. Lisa has three floors on her houses, but you should get to that through the story. Leonardo's house with the wool machine. Make sure you check the basement of that. It's easy to miss. It's right behind the well. Make sure you go down there. There's like a teddy bear there and a Vivian Knight. Yeah, that house right there. See, B1. The other building there on the left with the chickens, where you use the crank to open it, you should go into the basement there. I believe you have to for the story during the first Lycan attack at the village in the very beginning. But remember to come back with the crank and open it up and get on that ledge and get the ruby for Dimitrescu's necklace. I'll be putting all these extra little side missions in the descriptions for us. So you guys can always use that. Another one that you can miss is Moro's Laboratory here. Because, you know, right after you defeat Moreau, you have the crank. You might just for, forget to use the crank on that gate. So make sure you go there, too. Other than that, Moreau's labor or reservoir is pretty straightforward. Actually, the west or east, that's the east jetty. You could miss that. It's the right before you get to the cut scene with Chris Redfield, and then Moreau destroys that building that you're in. If you don't make that quick right and get to that little water cavern... You could miss that too, so don't forget that. And then after you drain the reservoir, I would go back to the other jetty. And make sure you get that. Here, this is the Riverbank Cave Camp. That's the cave camp where Chris Redfield was taking with his, you know, with his buddies or whatever, his soldiers. Over here, and don't forget to use the crank and take the boat up here, back to the craftsman's house. But yeah, over here, you'll find that goldfish. And then you'll find the little cave camp. So don't forget that part. And then take the boat and go all the way up north, the opposite direction.
Don't forget Beneviento. That's pretty straightforward. You have to get there for the story, so. But here, don't forget the trap chamber. The trap chamber is an easy one to miss if you don't use the well. And then obviously the riverbank treasure house right here. You know, that stuff doesn't open up until you get the crank again. So make sure to use it. Two easy spots to miss if you're not exploring. Beneviento is pretty straightforward. You're going to have to go through all this for the story. You know, even you can maybe skip upstairs, but when you play hide and seek with her, you still have to go upstairs, I believe. And all the stuff down here you have to go through. You know, the family film puzzle, the tweezers, the Mia doll, the well, all that stuff. There's like that little elevator that you, you know, to cross to get there. All right, now we're getting to the good part, the factory. First floor, pretty straightforward. B6, B1. The only thing that I could see you missing here, there are a couple spots. So yeah, there's the right after. That's how you get back. That on the top right, right there. There's a little crawl space. After you defeat Sturm, you grab the cigar. There's a little crawl space right above here. And that's where you can get a go to warding. But, you know, if you don't have that on your map, you might miss it. That's pretty much it for B1. B2, pretty straightforward. Right there, that is where you get the labyrinth ball on that little pathway right there. That's kind of offset right there. Make sure you push the cart and go in there and get it. You might miss that yeah, right there, that little area. You don't want to miss that. Grand chest risk reward, but you want to blow up that wall and get those gems right there where that little, you can see the marking. Make sure you get that. Other than that, grinder shaft's pretty easy. There's nothing special this area. I don't think so. Here, make sure you go back to the operating room right here once you turn the power on. And then once you get Heisenberg's key right below it, make sure you visit his quarters so you can complete the hammer. Those are two really crucial parts that you could miss if you're not, you know, coming backtracking after you turn on the power and after you get the key. So make sure you do those too. The basement's pretty straightforward. And also, on the B B2... There's a little opening on the shaft that you can get to. And then you'll take a zip line across. Make sure you explore that area too. But thanks everybody for tuning in.